Welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom. I'm gonna start off by talking to Robbie. Because I still don't have my camera, and I think we have to talk to Robbie to get said camera. And maybe even the travel medallion, because he specializes in ancient tech. What an excellent night. Hey, you as a tree to get the Pura pad. Pura and I worked on the design. Worked together on design, but I'm the one who put it together, you know? It should have been called the Robbie pad, technically speaking. Come on, goggles. Are you even listening to me? Oh, uh, yes. Sorry, what were you saying? I was saying that I want to go investigate the depths. Look, if you're not going to listen to me, I'll go jump into a chasm myself. No way, no how you can do that. The depths are far too fast <laughs> to slow on your own. I've only barely begun to look at them. I'd love to go gallivanting around down there too. Who knows what wonders are at the bottom of those chasms. But no matter how wondrous they may be, it's far too dangerous for you. I'm not allow about to allow a young Paraji to go wandering around somewhere unknown. So foul. I was down there. If anything were to happen to Pura's favorite student, it'd be the end of me. The end! Ah. I need to more figure it out. Huh. Oh, swordsman. Sorry, I didn't mean to leave you on the out of the conversation. Yeah. Let me get you up to speed. Our survey team brought back some artifacts from a journey into the depths. One of them caught my eye. This piece of slate, special. Spe I can't speak. The image depicted on it. Hmm. See, the figure standing on the two legs with one arm raised up? Well, I have a theory. I think it could be evidence that a mysterious people once lived in the depths. Uh -huh. That's why I want to go down there, so I could see if there are any more depictions like this one. I want to see for myself. Aww. But Goggles here says it's too dangerous and he won't let me go. Aww. Josh, come on now. It is. It's dangerous. I, I, I don't like it down there. Tell you what, I'll go down there myself and see if I can find anything about the figure in the slate. Aww. And Link will join me. What? We'll start by looking for anything down there that resembles the figure on the slate. Assuming we find... Yeah, yeah, there's the camera. I'll teach you how to take pictures once we're down there. Alright. To the south of Lookout Landing. I'll go on ahead once you have they come find me. Ta-da! Ta-ta! And he's gone. Looks like he's gone. I'm sorry you got roped into all this swordsman. Goggles means well, but when he wants to help me, he leaves before he looks. Yeah. But here, maybe this will help you out at least. Oh, and take this too. Um... Yeah, if only we did this first before, you know, finding it ourselves, that wouldn't have been... That's a main objective too. We would have, uh, found it. And it would have been interesting, but we found it a different way. Oh well. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Hey, you again. I told you not to sneak up on me. Can't you see I'm around the edge of this chasm? My colleague who works with me on the Zonai survey team is down there. What would happen if I slipped and fell on him, huh? Don't startle me again. How'd he get down there? Like, I'll dive head first, but how'd Robbie get down here? Oh, he has a balloon. How far did Robbie go? Well, I've been here before, so... I feel like I'm doing this quest a little late. Where did he go? Yeah, I feel like this would have had a whole different vibe to it if I had done this. Originally, where it probably wants you to. You know, like when you first get the lookout landing. There he is. I should have just teleported here. What kind of statue is that? 
What? Look how bright that thing got. The light down here is dark. The light down here this dark is downright refreshing. Hmm. In fact, it's so luminous it's almost like we're on the surface. Just standing near it makes me feel so much better. How strange. Hey, it's you. You're finally here. I need to show you what I found. The statue. It's standing on two... On two legs, one arm raised high. Looks an awful like that figure Joshua showed us in the peace slate, don't you? Don't you think? Alright, get that camera of yours. It's time to put the work. Oh, that's the problem. Your camera is locked. It says your high will compadanium. Yeah. And that's why I didn't have the camera, because I did it really late. There we go. There. Simple. How'd that go? If you captured an image of the statue in your camera, then hurry up and show me. I'd like to see how it looks. So, did you get a good picture? Stupendous. Looks like you captured it well. I'm sure Joshua will be satisfied with this. Lighting up that immense room, getting us a picture of the statue. You've just started helping us research what's down here. But soon enough, we're going to have even more to investigate. Well then, time to time I head back up to the surface. See it, look out landing. That's it? Really, that's it? I thought there'd be more to like, go around and take pictures of, but I guess not. I guess I'll just do this. I'm back. Hey, you! Show Joshua that picture you took of the statue. The figure matches up pretty well. Looks darn cool. Hey. That is it. That does match with the swords on the yeah. fragment. Thank you, swordsman. Just like on the slate, the figure must be showing people of some sort, whoever they were. Which confirms my theory that people lived in the depths. I'm sure we'll find more traces of them if we keep searching. Oh. This is a big, big, big discovery. Now then, what's next? The possibilities. There's so much more to research. Oh, but before I focus on that... There's something I want to give you as thanks for helping. On earlier s surveys, the depths found all this. What do you think it's for? Hmm. I feel as these contain some strange power. Like maybe it's an energy for something. Anyway, they may help you with your search for Princess Zelda. So hopefully you find them useful. <laughs> that fragment has helped us see the depths in a new way. Now we're close to understanding one of its mysteries. I'm going to sift through everything in our surveys that has brought back from down there. Maybe there are even more fragments that I could piece together. <laughs> All right, you can go to the lab now. A sensor that detects shrines. Yes. All right. Yep. We'll get to Fatino. I know where it is. Alright. So we'll do that. But first... Which one of these would I go to? Because I want to upgrade my... Battery thing. I just don't... Oh, that might be it. That's probably is it. Hey, you... I want to upgrade things. I need a hundred. Sweet. Wait, it's not even a full battery. I thought it would be. A hundred for that little sliver? How do I get more?
Processing Zonite. That really didn't get a lot. I thought it would be more. That's kind of disappointing. Oh well. Back down to Hatino. I really hope Robbie has the uh, travel medallion. If he doesn't, the only other place I might be able to think of getting it, if it's not at Lookout Landing, is the Akala Tech Lab, which will be heading there next, I'm pretty sure. Wait, what? I, I did. What? I have to go... I guess... I'm gonna go double check, make sure he... Is supposed to come here. I guess I misread. Oh. He says he'll stay here a bit longer. I missed that. Oh. I just wanted some arrows, jeez. Okay, well I guess we're not going to the Alcala Tech Lab yet because Robbie doesn't want to go there. And if Robbie doesn't want to go there, I can't go there. Ah, I can buy more arrows from you at least. As for possibly getting the travel medallion, we may have to get up to Akala for that. Unless Pura knows about it. So I will double check with that first. I don't know where else to... No, I did check with her. She just she didn't say anything about that. Anything in here? It's a mess. That's for sure. What about up here? Maybe one of her diaries is here. Oh? It is. A stairway leading deep beneath Hyrule Castle has been discovered. Even Princess Zelda didn't know about it, so it seems safe to assume it's a secret move from the royal legend. We have confirmed that gloom emits from that location, means something down there must be causing it. I appoint the Princess Zelda and Link to investigate. Actually, it'd be more accurate that to say Princess Zelda volunteered for the job before I had the chance. I know beyond a doubt that there is no team more qualified for such a task. And yet I can't escape this feeling of dread. I've decided to store this diary in four volumes. That way, if a nosy someone reads it, they'll only have a quarter of it. Such ideas are the fruit of genius. As for the first one, I think I'll entrust it to who else but Impa. Speaking of Impa, she had a cute habit of import of hiding important items underneath things ever since she was a child. I have a fond memory of it, but when she forgot it Oh. Diaries are flat to begin with, but it's more important than barn. I hope she finds a better hiding spot than a cushion. So there's one here. One in Hatino, which we read already. One in Akala, which is what the Hatino... And now we know one is in Kakriko. And I want to go find it. So let's go find it. I don't know where Impa is. But I will say, I probably need to look around more myself. I don't... I don't know. Alright, under something, huh? No. Journal of Various Worries, that's what that was. Three big ideas, no. Mm, 
not the right diary. Oh, wait. I see it. Yep. Perhaps it's a side effect of returning to my previous form from 100 years ago, but I had a dream about that time. Back then, Robbie and I did whatever we pleased at the Royal Ancient Tech Lab. At the Royal Ancient Lab. Age reversal experiment explosions, warping, warping failure explosions, explosion prevention device explosions. I recall us trying things that would have gotten us tossed out if Impa and Princess Zelda hadn't covered for us. Impa scolded me often, but never too harshly. Those were fun times. I haven't decided to hide or to hide three of my four diary volumes yet. Hmm. It seems like a good idea to hide one of them away in my own room. I've been at Lookout Landing a lot recent lately. Maybe I should go back to the lab in Hatino Village to place the diary. That's it. The last one's in Akala. Nothing interesting yet. Still haven't found Impa though. She's kind of weird. I don't know where she'd be. She has to be in Kakariko, right? Maybe there's some sort of update on the donut thing I'm not allowed to go near. Oh. Master Link, good morning. Mm. Even though I've seen them many times by now, whenever I approach the Rain Ruins, I feel inexplicably stopped in their tracks. I wonder what purpose they were built and by whom. Oh. Guess not. Really? There we go. Yeah, nothing else really here. Time to head up to Akala then. I wonder if that's something I need to be at. Am I going the right way? I think I am. There's the temple. Which one of these things have I done that got me the headpiece for the gliding suit? I honestly don't remember. I'll take a chest. Oh, I forgot about those. Oh, that's far. I forgot about those maps. We'll have to do that at some point. Unless I forget again, then I'll have to wait till I remember. No, we need that one. And... And we did this one. As for where to go, oh, I'm by a oh, straight down, really. I don't want to do that. I want to glide, be free. I might just book it towards the Akala Tech Lab, and then we might do some exploring in Akala with Terrytown. And that looks to be a big chasm, so all that stuff. Is that a Gleok? That looks like the Thunder one. I thought the Thunder one was at the Coliseum. Well, there's just multiple Thunder ones, but... Wait, now I'm curious. I'm not gonna fight it. I can't. But I'm curious. 
I'm not curious with you. Just with the Gleok. Definitely looks thunder. Terrytown's got its own little roller coaster. Wow. Look at it thrive. Look at it go. I almost don't know what to do. Wait, what kind of Gleok is that? Whoa, that almost hit me. Uh-oh. Please don't slide, Link. Don't know if I'm going to be able to climb this. Well... I hate rain. Okay, I'm not being... I'm just... I'm not. Nope. Not today. We'll head to the tower, and then I'll use the tower's launch to get over to the tech lab, and then next episode we'll do some Akal exploring. Like Terrytown. Take a look at Terrytown and stuff. And the little roller coaster they got going on. Not interested in this thing. No, don't you stab me. They're still trying. And yes, I see all these shrines, but we'll get them eventually. There's nothing here. Let's just jump down. Kind of headbutt. Okay, getting this shirt has really helped with my armor. Health. I spoke too soon. Oh, that's what he's scared about. Not even the monsters that were attacking me. Don't worry, it won't hurt you now. What's the matter? The terminal for the Skyview Tower, the monster stole. The creature dropped the terminal and fell somewhere around here, but I lost sight of it. Really? Well, I killed the monster around here. Is that it? No, it's just the raw. Oh, here it is. Okay, luckily that's not hard. Hopefully, this is all he needs. Here you go. The confusion as it just lands in front of his face. <gasps> ah, the terminal. Mister, you got the terminal back. That flying rascal is the worst. Ah. Thanks, that really helped me out. And to carry such a heavy thing on your own, too? I'd have a hard time moving it that by myself. Yes, I'll move it over there. Ah! <laughs> I'll tighten this and done. Oh. Easy tower. Big gold chasm. We're not going there yet, though. What was that? What are those giant cubes in the sky? The cubes are where the mazes are. Ah. 
I only see one chasm. Oh, there's one in the school, so two. There's a maze in the sky as well, so the cube is a maze. Oh, that's just Skull Island. Looks weird. There's a shrine in the middle there. I will get all these shrines. Like, like there's one right there. I will get them all, I swear. But I just want to check out the tech lab for that last diary first, in case it's something like the travel medallion. Really want to find where that is. So I'll just be heading right over there in that upgraded looking building. Why are these ego rocks here? There's one down there too I just passed. Yeah. Yes, I'll be ignoring the shrine just for the moment because I just want to... Yeah. Did the Yiga steal the tech lab? Yeah. 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 Did they take over the tech lab? Final warning. They did. Sure. Wait, Help. you. It's Link. Get ready for battle. What? <laughs> okay. Set him on fire. Oh, my stone talus thing. Is that it? Can I get in now? Who are you? Look, I'm sorry, okay? I'll make your little uniform. Oh. Hold up. Hey. Hey, Superstar. You're not with the Yiga Clan, are you? Please tell me you're here to rescue me. Ah! That's that's fantastic. Ugh, I've been cooped up in here forever. My name's Kanba. I got a knack for style and nimble digits. I need to spend my days to reality. Alas, that pure talent is why the Yiga Clan kidnapped me and forced me to make their outfits oh. for them. If I ever sew one of these tacky rags again, it'll be too soon. In fact, you should take the Yigo armor. I just finished. Burn it and toss it. Do whatever you want. Just get away from me. Okay. The whole set. The whole set. Is this the diary? We filled and filled out a map with locations of our hideout and branches. This lab is located near a local stable. It's not far from Terrytown, which was impacted by the falling Zonai ruins of parts. Suffice to say, okay. They're either talking about me. I doubt the travel medallion's gonna be here now. Oh, really? Gotta go around, I guess. Who needs climbing when you gotta send? Is anything even up here? one of their stupid little rocks where's that diary
Oh, that might be. Wait, no, that's a. Not it. Um. That was sad. I'm not seeing a diary anywhere. I could have sworn it was... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Come on. No way, I don't want to set it on fire. Let me read it. I designed the pier pad to be capable of various experiments and hoping to, of carrying some of the burden for Hyrule's recovery. Robbie built a prototype right away when he and we asked the princess to use it in her work across Hyrule. The camera. Yes. Maybe I'll shoot arrows in the map. Update. Genius doesn't translate to being good with the bow. I ended up piercing the floor instead of the map. I'll just leave one volume here at Lookout Landing, as indicated by the arrows. That's it? You go and search for all four of these and the, it's, it's nothing? That's disappointing. Oh, there's a chest. I didn't see that. Oh! <laughs> okay. Wow. But it's unusable in its current state because it's missing some important data. I'm glad I noticed that chest. I also would have walked right by it and probably saw it in the editing a few days later and been like, oh. Whoops. Alright, let's go see if Robbie is back. He should be up here. He's still not here. How long does this take for him to get here? Probably like just wait by a fire until he arrives. I give up. Maybe I can talk to him at the lookout landing and get the uh, travel medallion to work. Third time I've talked to you. I'll come back here for that. Now, what this? Hmm? Um. We don't know. There's so much to learn. Well, okay. How long is it gonna take for this? You're just staring at it, not even writing down notes or doing anything. Does Pira know? I really want to use this travel medallion. Now. <gasps> no one knows. Really? Oh, she has another quest. That's it. I found more fragments among the things in our survey team brought back from the depths. And guess what? They fit together like okay. a puzzle. Ta-da, just look. Why didn't I notice this before? Feast your eyes upon this amazing mural. 
The scene shows that there's a whole series of statues down there. Like this one that you found for me last time. But what really caught my attention is the way they're orientated. Each figure is pointed toward the next one in a series. Until it ends up with the last statue facing at the final destination. A building that looks like a temple. A temple. Hmm. And that strange hand symbol that seems to respond to whatever the Zonai is doing. So collect my thoughts on all this. I'm pretty sure if you follow the gaze of each one of those statues down there, you'll reach that structure. I'm also betting that the temple-like building holds something of Zonai origin. I have heard that the Zonai wielded mysterious powers. I wonder if this correlates to the, those pow to those powers. Of course, it's also speculation on my part. So that's where you come in, swordsman. I want you to find the temple structure. Depicted in the mural. Oh. Aww. But they played the kid card of me, so I couldn't go into the depth. So here. Uh -huh. You can have these two. Yeah. yeah. So if it works out, maybe you'll snag some mysterious power for yourself and gain clues about the princess. Nothing but good things, right? Thanks for your help out with this. I guess we're going to be doing that. What? Oh, I already found the temple. <laughs> really? Huh. Auto build. Oh, so it's when I accidentally found it. And scam. So, oh. Okay. <laughs> that, that makes it easy. They also, these things collected from the depths that may give us other clues. Wait just a sec. Hmm, not that. Nope, not that either. Aha, here we go. <laughs> here, swordsman. Okay, that'll be useful. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, I'll build that now. Okay. See, I was just about to say we'll have to do her little quest next time, but I guess not. I already accidentally found the Yiga clan, so. I, I can't believe it. You rebuilt the balloon in an instant. This, this mysterious power goes beyond scientific explanation. Goggles! Hey! Goggles! What are you yelling about, Joshua? Inconceivable! My balloon, it's fixed! That must be the mysterious power of the zone I had. I never thought I'd see such marvel with my very own eyes. Take this for... I still haven't been able to figure out what that is, but judging from the light, it's gotta be zone in origin. Since you can use zone powers, I think it'd be better for you to have it. There's an incredible power line in the depths hidden after all. I think I'll keep researching the depths going forward. Who knows? I might find a clue about Princess Zelda. If you make any new discoveries in the depths, please let me know, swordsman. Okay, that was quickest quest yet. Oh. Koga, the leader of the leader clan was there? Oh, this is dangerous. <laughs> I've got to regain my composure. Okay, come this way. What well, now? Yeah. So you face Koga in the depths, hmm? What's the leader of the Yiga clan up to down there? From what I know, the Yiga clan is a super dangerous group that schemes against the Kingdom of Hyrule. And Koga has had it out for you and Princess Zelda for a long time. He'd do anything to put it into your lives. Despite everything we're looking into already, we can't take our eyes off this threat. Besides, Koga can know what's happened to the princess. That would make a lot of sense. If you go go after him, keep in mind that I'll be continuing my research for the devs right here. Uh -huh. Oh, by the way, do you know about the Forest of Time south of Hyrule Field? What? There's a chasm there, and I've gotten reports of other serious series of statues found at the bottom of it. Are different from the ones that you showed me using your camera. Huh. Oh. 
So there's lots of the force of time. I think is in the. No, that's spirits. That's this one. So it's another chasm. More, more stuff down here. That's where I fought him the first time. Huh. I'm a little confused. Whatever. Did Robbie finally go back? He must have. Oh, no, he didn't. I really appreciate you fixed my balloon. That auto built thing is pretty darn amazing. Hmm, I should have a good idea about the practical use of that someday. Oh, that reminds me. Hey, you listen up. Now that Josh solved the mystery of the slate, finally. I really need to end the episode, but I want to finish. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I want to finish my thought and, like, actually get this thing in Hatino. Time to walk up there for, like, the fifth time. There's balloons here. And the note's finally gone. Finally. Even this big eye droopy thing's gone. Everything's gone. Ah, what a fine afternoon. Hey, you. The Pier Pad Laboratory is ready for us to do some great things together. Let's get the sensor up and running. One and a two and a three and a four. Yes, finally. Now that the sensor will make the sound of shrines are near you. Shrine of light nearby. Ah, that's a less annoying beeping sound too. Oh, really have to go out there and do it. Wait, I thought I... What am I looking for? I can't leave the building. Oh, now it's going. Now he picked. Okay, he just randomly decided to. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, this? miss this here it is all right we'll be right back for that We'll do that shine first thing next episode. It shows my video time is getting a little long right now. Because there's so much happening. I just want to see if he can help with the travel medallion. That's more of what I'm like eager to find out. <laughs> oh, 
All right. I whipped up some prototypes of these extra features. You can get them on your pyrapad at any time. That is, with some help, you've gained some final data in order to activate them properly. The pyrapad is even better after I add some extra features. Those include the most essential, the travel medallion feature that lets you set up gates. Yes. A hero's path mode. It shows where you traveled. Finally, sensor plus. Helps you find more than shrines. Well, I, I mostly just want the travel medallion. We're gonna have a little bit of an extra challenge with all this. Come on, Gal, give me your peer pad for a moment. I already got it. Which is also my home. That's where the prototype of this child medallion feature is. I go get it myself, but word is that some dangerous trespassers have made themselves at home there. Mm hmm. Oh, good. Finally. I don't have to keep coming up that hill. But I already got it. Yes. Ta da da da. I know how to use it. I could add two more gates. Yes, then I hit maximum capacity. Really? So that I can create a link between the pad and and a second location, but for that, I need about 10 map data locations. Yeah. There we go. Can I add more? Have I? I, sh I should have 10 locations. Oh, it's the towers. Okay, so I, th I thought it just meant any marked locations. Let me s 15 shrine locations, which I should have. Yeah, I do. Let's get this through. Don't know if I really need that, but... Now we have it. Five types of monsters, which I do not have. But that'll be easy to get. All right. Finally, travel medallion. We could. Although I am going to end this episode here, it has been a long one. I mean, it probably won't be that long to you. I'll hopefully cut it down to about forty-five-ish minutes. But to me, it's probably been about an hour, hour and a half. So, even though a lot really didn't happen, it goes to show how big this game is. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to show your support by leaving a like. And don't forget to subscribe, never miss any future content. And I'll see you guys in the next one.